Plaque brachytherapy is the first choice when it comes to uveal melanoma treatment. Ruthenium-106 eye applicators are chosen and used across Europe and several other countries around the world. The applicator is a concave plaque with a radius of 11 to 25 millimeters and has two or three eyelets that are sutured to the sclera. The product range consists of 13 different types with a narrow notch for tumors close to the optic nerve, a wide notch for the corneal limbus or without notch. The radioactive plaque emits mostly beta radiation, which has a steep dose fall off with distance from the plaque surface. In this way, tumors up to five millimeters in thickness can be treated with a high dose while sparing sensitive structures such as the optic nerve and fovea. As the dose rate of the ruthenium-106 eye applicator is still sufficient for the treatment of uveal melanoma, even after a half-life, it can be reused numerous times within one year. A variety of surgical techniques have been developed by ocular oncologists around the world to place the applicator accurately over the intraocular tumor. This short presentation describes methods developed by Bertil D'Amato in England. Preoperatively, D'Amato plans the treatment according to five measurements. The tumor thickness, the largest basal tumor diameter, the longitudinal basal tumor diameter, the tumor to fovea distance, and the tumor meridian with respect to the fovea. For the selection of the correct plaque size, the 2 mm safety margin must be considered. This means, for example, that tumors up to 16 mm can be treated with a 20 mm applicator. The plaque to fovea distance is estimated by subtracting the safety margin from the tumor to fovea distance. The approximate limbus to plaque distance is estimated by adding the plaque to fovea distance to the plaque diameter and subtracting this number from 30. This calculation can be checked by adding the longitudinal tumor diameter to the posterior safety margin and subtracting this sum from the plaque diameter to identify the distance between the anterior tumor margin and the anterior plaque edge. If all measurements and estimates are correct, both methods should identify the same point on the sclera, marking where the anterior edge of the plaque should be. During the operation, a 180-degree conjunctival pyritomy is made. To rotate the globe, two traction sutures are placed in the sclera, about 4 mm from the limbus. After placing sutures and measuring the knot-to-limbus distance, any muscles preventing accurate plaque placement are detached. The inferior oblique muscle is only detached if it overlies the tumor. However, the superior oblique muscle is left in place because it is thin. The tumor is localized by transpupillary or transocular transillumination, and its margins are marked on the sclera with a pen. According to preoperative measurements and estimates, an ink mark is also made on the sclera at the intended location of the anterior plaque edge. If a Damato template is available, forceps or calipers with pointed tips are used to mark the entry and exit points of each suture, so the template which is corresponding to the selected radioactive applicator can be sutured to the sclera with releasable bows. Now the surgeon slides the right-angled transilluminator down a groove until it clicks into a perforation, then performs binocular indirect ophthalmoscopy to elicit the sunset sign while assessing the distance between the light spot and the tumor margin, ensuring that the tumor, including safety margin, is completely covered by the template. If the template is not perfectly positioned, it can be adjusted using the transilluminator as a hook and a new ink mark is made on the sclera. A mattress suture is placed and left loose. Now the template is replaced with the radioactive applicator, taking great care not to damage the delicate concave surface of the plaque. If a biopsy is performed, it is done after removing the template. The sutures are tied. If a Damato template is not available, the plaque position can be checked by ultrasonography or indenting the globe with the posterior edge of the plaque while performing binocular indirect ophthalmoscopy. Any detached muscles are sutured back in place, ensuring that the knot to limbus distance is the same as before. If the plaque overlies the muscle insertion, it is attached to the sclera with slings or to the mattress suture. Finally, the conjunctiva is closed, ensuring that the sclera is completely covered.
In summary, the following key steps are important. Ruthenium-106 eye applicators irradiate the tumor with minimal side scatter, so that accurate plaque positioning is essential. Before operation, plan plaque placement in relation to tumor and globe. To improve accuracy, detach any overlying muscle after measuring the knot to limbus distance and place a mattress suture. Confirm Damato template position by eliciting the sunset sign. Alternatively, confirm plaque position by ultrasonography or indentation. Avoid scleral exposure when suturing conjunctiva. This technique has been shown to have high rates of success in terms of local tumor control and the conservation of as much useful vision as possible. Please do not hesitate to contact us for more information.